Formed by John Lydon in the wake of the collapse of the Sex Pistols, Public Image was a shape-shifting musical project in which the bilious singer and lyricist explored his ideas in thoroughly uncompromised form. Depending on what period of the band's career you choose Public Image LTD could sound like bass-heavy post-punk thunder, an inspired fusion of krautrock and dub, muscular and expertly executed alternative rock or polished but angular dance-friendly pop with many other stops along the way. Despite a constantly shifting lineup and musical approach, Leiden's bitter howl full of anger, pain, and sometimes sardonic wit gave Pills many guises a musical and thematic through line and at their best his collaborators created music as powerful and absorbing as Leiden's intense charisma. On January 1978 the Sex Pistols played the final show on their American concert tour following the release of Nevermind the Bollocks, here's the Sex Pistols and three days later the band split up. John Lydon first traveled to Jamaica, where he and Virgin Records head Richard Branson scouted local reggae talent and then Lydon returned to London. Lydon soon approached an old friend Ja Wobble aka John Wardle about forming a new band. In May 1978 vocalist Lydon and bassist Wobble recruited one-time Clash guitarist Keith Levine and drummer Jim Walker and the four began rehearsing. Two months later Lydon named the band Public Image adding the LTV several weeks later. Virgin Records quickly signed Leiden's new act and their debut single Public Image was released in October 1978, it was a chart success and the following December, the band dropped their first album Public Image first issue. While the record sold well in England and did well in America as an import, it would remain unreleased in the United States until 2013, the group in suitably contrary fashion played their first live show on Christmas Day 1978. Hill experienced the first of many personnel changes when Jim Walker left the group, with Richard Dodansky taking over on drums. Later that year Pill released the single Death Disco, a meditation on Leiden's grief as his mother died, in November 1978 Pill released their second album an ambitious set called Metal Box, with three 12 discs mastered at 45 rpm packaged in a metal film canister. During the sessions for the album, Dodansky dropped out of the group and Martin Atkins took over on drums, while Metalbox was applauded by critics, the package was expensive to produce, and when the group's American label Warner Brothers released the album in July 1980, it was in a variant version titled Second Edition, a 2LP set in a conventional cardboard sleeve. The American release was followed by Pill's first American tour, where Leiden often verbally sparred with audience members calling out for Sex Pistols songs, 1980 also saw the release of Paris au Printemps, a live album recorded in France that was issued primarily to combat well-circulated bootlegs from Pill's European dates. By the time the third Pill studio album was completed 1981's minimalist The Flowers of Romance, Jal Wobble and Martin Atkins were out of the group, and visual artist Jeanette Lee became a band member. In May 1981 Pill were invited to play a one-off show in New York City at a club called The Ritz, the group opted to play an especially experimental set with the stage covered with a screen, video images were projected onto it and only shadows of the band were visible from behind it. Fans were not pleased, and a riot broke out which became the talk on the music press on both sides of the Atlantic, in 1982 the group toured North America with a new lineup with Martin Atkins once again behind the drum kit and Pete Jones on bass. Pill began work on their fourth studio album, but creative differences between Leiden and Keith Levine led to Levine leaving the band and taking the tapes with him. Levine self released a version of the projected album under the title Commercial Zone, while Leiden began from scratch. In 1983, with Levine and Pete Jones out of Pill, Leiden and Atkins assembled a band of little known musicians from New Jersey for a tour of Japan. Two of the shows were recorded digitally, and highlights from the concerts were released as 1983's Live in Tokyo. In September 1983 Pill issued the single This Is Not A Love Song, which became a top five hit in the UK the track would later appear on the 1984 album This Is What You Want This Is What You Get which was dominated by Leiden's versions of the material Levine released on Commercial Zone. Another Pill lineup toured the world in support of This Is What You Want featuring Atkins, guitarist Mark Schultz and keyboardist Jebin Bruni, and Leiden began writing new material on the road. 
Leiden would scrap this version of Pilf for the sessions for their fifth studio album. Producer Bill Laswell recruited an impressive and eclectic group of musicians for the project, including Steve Vai, Ginger Baker, Tony Williams, Ryuichi Sakamoto, and Bernie Worrell. Released in early 1986, album was a commercial success in the UK, rising to number 14 on the album charts and fared well in the United States, Leiden set out on a pill tour in support with a new band comprised of guitarist John McGeoch, bassist Alan Diaz, guitarist and keyboardist Lou Edmonds and Bruce Smith. While Laswell was interested in working with Leiden again, he preferred to use this latest lineup of Pill for their next album 1987's Happy, which included the single Seattle and the Body. The band would tour extensively in North America, the UK, Europe and South America, but by the end of 1988 Lou Edmonds would drop out of the band owing to health problems. With McGeoch, Diaz and Smith, Leiden recorded 1989 so titled because it was the band's ninth album overall, Pill toured North America as part of a package tour called Monsters of Alternative Rock which also featured New Order and The Sugar Cubes. In 1990 Pill released a compilation The Greatest Hits So Far, featuring 13 songs from the group's back catalog as well as one new tune Don't Ask Me which became a hit in itself, rising to number 22 on the UK singles charts. Bruce Smith had dropped out of Pill, and Leiden, McGeoch and Diaz were joined by a handful of session players to record that What Is Not which was released in February 1992. Pill once again took part in a North American package tour to promote the album MTV's 120 Minutes Live, in which they were joined by Big Audio Dynamite 2, Live and Blind Melon, after a long round of touring in Europe the UK and South America, Diaz parted ways with the group, and in 1993 Leiden issued a statement that he was retiring public image to pursue a solo career. A career-spanning four-disc box set Plastic Box was released in 1999. After issuing a solo album, publishing his memoirs staging several reunion tours with the Sex Pistols, and appearing in a number of TV projects, in 2009 Leiden brought back Pill for a British tour revealing that he bankrolled the project with the money he received from appearing in a commercial for Butter in the UK. His addition of the band included Pill alumni Lou Edmonds and Bruce Smith, as well as bassist Scott Firth. The initial UK tour was a success, and a live album drawn from one of the dates of life 2009 was released in 2010 as the group played shows in the United States and Europe. The band said that the 2011 Isle of Wight Festival was also issued as a live album before the year was out. In 2012 the group released a studio LP, This Is Pill and they devoted 2013 to touring. 2015 saw the release of What The World Needs Now, the second studio effort from the revived Pill and the first time the group made two studio albums in a row with the same lineup, in 2017 a documentary about Pill's long and convoluted story, the public image is rotten began playing at international film festivals, and a hefty box set tied into the film's release the public image is rotten songs from the heart was issued in 2018. Original guitarist Keith Levine died on November 2022 at his home in Norfolk, England, Due to complications from liver cancer, he was 65 years of age.